you join me in the studio with Thomas Deegan. Hello. Um, and we're looking forward to Salford City's game against Warrington Town. They'll be looking to find some form and find their feet again. You know, they've, they've been struggling in front of goal and in defence recently. They'll be hoping they can find a performance. Do you think they'll be able to do that, Tom? Um, I th yeah, I think they've got a good chance. I mean, Warrington have been doing very good in the FA Cup, as we know, but not the best in the league, so hopefully they can find something. There's the corner cleared. That's well away. The chance here, but it's fallen to Neville. Can he find a pass? And he does. That's a great ball on. Can Maidley capitalise on it? It's a good turn. It's clever. And a clever chop. And it's a great chance for Maidley. And what a fine goal that is. He made that with nothing really. He was surrounded by defenders and he's found the back of the net. And it's a wonderful finish that, you know, he, like, like you said, he's just used a bit of class. It's fine a fine uh, counter attacking play from Solberg. It's straight from the corner. And literally in a matter of 10 seconds, the ball's in the back of the Warrington Town net. Great play. Salford City, scored by number 11, Sam Maidley. Here's Neville. It's a high boot, surely. There's appeals for it, but it's fallen. It's a Warrington attack now. Here's oh, Metcalf. Who shoots, that's a good save from Guthrie there. And eventually it's cleared out for a corner. It's good hands from the keeper. Warrington in the ascendancy now, they're looking dangerous. And here's a chance. It's Thames. Oh, that's fallen. And it's in, it's in, it's Metcalf who's fired in. That was a scrappy and odd goal. The Salford defence just couldn't seem to get it clear and they've conceded yet again, Tom. I was, I was just, I don't know what's going on there, they just fell asleep. I have a great challenge there. Uh, and they've got off the hook, and then they just don't get they just don't get back really. Look at that. They don't get tight enough, and it just seems to stay in the danger zone for, for ages, and, and then eventually it's in the back of the net. There's just no one pushing forward to play the ball. There's Warrington again, looking dangerous. Beat the offside trap here. There's Gaskell. It's a fine save from Guthrie, and oh, that's great defending there. That looked like a certain goal. He's denied. They're still looking shaky so far at the back. You've got to say, haven't you, Cameron? Yeah, they, they don't look sure at the back. It's a good ball. It's Neville. Crosses in and, oh, it flashed straight across the box. Nice little dink over the top there. It was Weber, I apologise. It's a great cross. And Maidley nearly got his head on it. That was close. Nice ball up there. Yes. It's a long punt at field. It's well dealt with by the sort of defence. Kind of mountain attack now. Again, they've given it away, but they've regained possession. Here's Neville. It's very tense, you've got to say. You've got to agree. It's been good pressure by Warrington. Very good pressure. Never. Not giving Salford any time on the ball. It's sprayed out wide. And again, they're just hounding. And here's a chance. He took too long on the ball. And it's Metcalf. Oof. They've got away with that one. I mean, look at the Warrington Town boys. They're just pressing. They're not giving them a chance at all. It's lofted forward. Headed out. It's a good touch there. Is that a foul? Nothing given. It's flooded through. And it's two on one here. Salford's defence totally and done again. It's Metcalf who drives it home and Warrington have the lead. Some abject defending from Salford yet again. Shocking. I've got to say, it's absolutely shocking. Now, and they, they, they look good value for the lead. You know, it's played all around the back and they leave themselves vulnerable to a counter attack like this. And there's two on one and he goes himself and he scored. And he deserves his goal. Well, just look at this. You play to the whistle, you don't play to the offside. You play for the whistle. And he's just stood there waiting. Could have got back there. I think that's poor defended. Phil Power needs to get his men in at half time and hopefully give him a good talk and, and hopefully they can keep it at 2 1 at half time or maybe even get some back into it because at the moment they're looking rubber ball and it could be 6 or 7 by the end. Runs the ball through. Oh, he's done well there. Andrews. 
and Andrew scores. It's a great finish. Lovely play there. That's better. Right on the stroke of half time. That will be a real confidence boost. Hopefully Sophie can kick on from here. It's, it's a good play. It's a great reaction from the boys. They've shown, they've shown resilience and a good attitude to come back from being in the lead and conceding the two goals and they're back on level terms now. Yeah, you've got to say, the, their attack doesn't worry me. It's the defence that's worrying me again uh, in this game. It just doesn't seem to be there. But this, look, this is wonderful. Beats his man. Squares it. It's a simple tap in front. It's a nice finish right in the roof of the net. Gives, yeah, it gives the defender that's coming in just that little bit of chance. There's, you know, he's not going to get it. Can Salford plough on from here and find the winning goal, perhaps? It's made near again. Over the top. Oh, it's oh. flashed across the face of goal and didn't quite go in. All it needed was a touch from Weber, who was loitering at the back post. And Neville. Into the centre. Long ball at field. It's a good ball, that. It's promising. Seven. That's him. Squares it back post. It's a header. It's a chance. Well cleared. It's well defended there. Would have been asserting off Weber and he loops his shot over. Through. Here's a chance. Surely a goal. Oh, Whoa. Fine. That is amazing defended on the line. And this by Ash Dunn on the line. Look at that. Was it a hand? I don't think so. There were suspicions. I think it was his chest. I think it was his chest. I think. He saved his team there. It's wonderful defended. Last ditch. This game could have gone anyway. It's so tight and so end to end. I think it's a case of next goal wins. High ball upfield. Oh, he's not dealt with that well. Surely. Oh, oh, it's off the bar. And that's just some more nervous defending by Salford Cameron. It has to do better there. He would have got his side into a great chance to win the game, and he's so unlucky. He's just absolutely leathered it, and it's just fired against the bar. Left the keeper with no chance. Gruffy was stranded. So there you have it, another disappointing performance, I think you'd have to say. It's a 2-2 draw. And Salford will be hoping they can find their feet and find some sort of form in the coming weeks. Phil Powell's got a real job on his hands. Again, thanks for joining me in the studio, Tom Deegan. Thank you very much, Cameron. Cheers. Goodbye.